What's up, y'all? Got a banger from men only. Let's get straight into it. Mr. Willis, what brings you in the courtroom today? I have been wondering for a long time about whether these children, we have three children, whether they're mine or not, they're all so ugly and they ugly. don't look like me. I'm a real handsome dude and these kids look like they come right off the street. Oh. Okay, Mrs. So Willis. Yes. I mean, y'all have been together for a long time. Oh, what is your take on We've been together for over 50 years. Wow, 50 years. And you sitting in front of me today. I, and I married a man. I mean, it's got to be satire. Is he bro. anything to look at? I mean, he must have been. You've been with him long enough now. Well, Ms. I married Willis, him we... for his personality, not his looks. Ooh, well, <laughs> some personality here. And he calls, he says, my kids aren't good looking. Well, ugly men make ugly children, honey. Oh, oh. These are your kids. I mean, you think just because you traveled so damn much that. I was fooling around. Hell, I was home with the kids. Well, when I came home, you were kind of messed up a couple times. What does that mean, messed up? Well, you know. And then once I came home... I had my period. I mean, come on. <gasps> what? Wait a minute. You it, think you just walk in the house? Wait, wait, wait. You nookie, got, nookie? Okay, you got to watch what you say in, in my courtroom now, Mrs. I said Willis. I had my period. What's wrong with know. saying that? I need order. I need order in my court. Yes, ma'am. I mean, everybody is speaking out of turn. The, the, everything is going every which way now. I need some order in here. I'm sorry. Well, you know, one time I came home, and I pulled in the front driveway, and I saw this car down the street take off because somebody came out the back door. It was the repairman. I told you the washing Wait. machine was broken. You told me it was the postman. Uh, no, that was the other time. Uh, Miss, Mrs. Willis, I mean, so do he have any, sh is it any doubt in your mind that these kids, all three of them, not one, not two, but all three of them is not his? They're his kids. I mean, all right, Mr. Willis, now do you hope these kids are yours? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, even though they're ugly, because if they weren't mine, I would have just been pissing my money away all these years, taking care of those little brats. Uh, Okay. That's, you know. Bro, it's got to be satire, bro. I, I, I don't get this because if I was going to fool around while you were gone, don't you think I would have picked some good looking men that look better than you do? No. Okay. All right. Who bought y'all here today? What bought y'all? Well, he did. He watches this crap on TV. He said, I want to find, I want to go to one of those courtrooms and prove that these brats aren't mine. I don't think they're brats. I think they're wonderful kids. And I don't think they're ugly. So but, that, that... Well, you know, I, I've seen all these great results, and I want to prove it because if they aren't mine, I've had it. You had what so do you, you doing? Had you had it. Uh, wait a minute. We've been together over 50 years, and you're going to walk out the door. Look, you won't even look at me. I got a nice young lady waiting out there. Oh! oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Savage. So, so, oh, you, so you telling me after 50 years, you going to walk with this young lady you claim you got waiting. Yeah, that's the first time he's had a smile on his face this entire time. <laughs> In, in the bushes somewhere, but you talked about her with the milkman and the plumber and everybody else, but you got this young thing waiting on you. Thank you, Your Honor. Sure. We need some, sure. we're going to have to get down to the bottom I, I of this, and I mean fast at this I, point. I got to cover myself. Cover yourself? <laughs> Seems like you should have been covering back then and not right now. What a G, dude. You know, if you'd stayed home, you wouldn't have this question in your mind. I had too much fun not staying home. Oh, wow. Well, you know what? I'm not finna keep going back and forth. I'm finna go ahead and get down to these results. All right, guys, I got these results in my hand. Is there any final words that you wanna you wanna get out before I read these results? I I, I just I don't know why we're here. We've been together all this time. You traveled a lot. You think I was fooling around? I think you were probably fooling around when you were on the road. That's not I bet true. There's some ugly kids out there kids, that belong to you. I don't want these kids around me if they're not mine. Honey, you've raised them. Well, yeah. Don't you love them? They're I mean, you call them ugly. This is just... They get in my way. Oh, this is just you're, wrong. This is just so wrong. You know what? 
I have. I, just, I, I didn't have a time in here with you guys today, and I'm gonna go ahead and get y'all out my my hair. Yeah, tell so, them they're my kids. I mean, they're your kids. All right. The results reads as follow. First, child, Mr. Willis, you are not the father. That's what I figured. No. Oh, that's good. Mrs. No, Willis. Uh, that, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Second, child. That's that's got to be. A, it's a mistake. Mr. Willis, you are not the father. You are reading someone else's file. This so can't be true. So I have a mailman and a and a plumber. Oh, oh my God! Oh, wait, wait, wait! No, hey, I'm hey! Sorry. Words, I'm words. sorry. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I just child three, Mr. Willis. I, 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 I pray and I hope. Please. But you are not the father. Oh, 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 oh my God! <laughs> Three kids aren't his? Oh, my lanta. Those kids. Thank you, Honor. I will see you around. I told you those kids were ugly. You're and ugly. They don't look. You're ugly. That's why they're ugly. They they're look just like the mailman. All, wrong. all right, let's get into Bro, this it. this got to be cap. <laughs> this has got to be satire. I was way too bought into this story, though, bro. <laughs> I was way too bought into that story paternity testing but i am against men being for suits them but here's the thing men are waking up to this game that's crazy they're tired bro. of being the scapegoat and they're tired of the double standards i am not for mandatory paternity testing but i am against men being forced to fight uh here's my thing man i am for mandatory paternity testing we should know from the jump if that's my baby or not this way we ain't got to question it and here's the thing if women have the choice to opt out of a pregnancy men should get the choice to opt out of being a father what do you guys think let me know in the comments if women get to choose if they want to have an abortion or something like that they want to opt out of the pregnancy they want to opt out of being a mom i think the dad should be able to opt out if they want to be a dad what do you guys think father children that aren't theirs. And the following story is wild. Gypsy Rose Blanchard married her husband, Ryan, while incarcerated. In December, Gypsy was released. In March, they split, and in April, she filed for divorce. In May, she confirmed that she was back together with her ex-fiance, Ken. Then last week, uh -oh. Gypsy announced that she was 11 weeks pregnant with Ken's child. Damn. This would put the date of conception around April, the same month that she filed for divorce. And this is where it gets interesting. Gypsy. She's a runner, she's a track star. <laughs> Honey, we know you was getting busy. <laughs> According to People Magazine, as stated in Louisiana law, if the mother is married to someone other than the biological father when the child was conceived or has been divorced for less than 300 days at the time of birth, the husband slash ex-husband shall be the presumed father unless paternity is established for the biological father. With this law in place, the only way that Ken's name will go on the birth certificate is if Ryan signs an affidavit that Ken is the father. If he doesn't and Ken wants his name on the birth Birth certificate he will have to file a motion with the courts and the courts will make all three of them take a dna test to determine the father this is called marital presumption of paternity and it's not just in louisiana i want to hear your thoughts on this all right let's break this wow that's kind of crazy it's down why is she against mandatory paternity tests it's like saying i'm against murder but we should only investigate suspects selectively if you're against automatic paternity tests you are part of the problem this is yet another glaring example of how irresponsible and unaccountable some women can be. Men need to protect themselves from false accusations. A mandatory paternity test means that women can't be trusted at all. Too many married men have paid thousands and raised children that aren't theirs, unknowingly. We have the technology to put a stop to this, so why aren't we using it? If we can have a federal abortion law, then we can have a federal paternity law. Consider this. Not my kid. Well, in well, like, like I'm saying, man, if, if women can opt out of being moms, I think men should be able to opt out of being dads. I think it's really, I mean, that's that's fair, right? That's the equality that uh, the women want. And, and what's so funny to me is the women, they want the authority of men, they want the privilege of women, and they want the accountability of children. <laughs> they want the authority of men, the privilege of women, and the accountability of children. You have to love it. Your child. If you're the father of a child who was born out of wedlock, then you really don't have any rights. But there's a way to change that, and here's how you do it. You can either sign the birth certificate, it's called a voluntary acknowledgement of paternity, or you can file a paternity case in court 
and have the judge declare you to be the father. That way you're the biological and legal father of that child, and that gives you certain rights. The problem is, even though you have rights, you've got to assert those rights. If you don't have a visitation or custody order in place, signed by a judge, then you leave the child's mother to determine what your parenting time is. And let me tell you, that can be troublesome because a mom, if you don't pay child support, can simply say, hey, you're not gonna see your child until you pay child support. Mm -hmm. Well, in order to solve that problem, you go to court and you ask the judge to set a parenting schedule. That way you know what your time is and the mom knows what your time is. That way if mom violates the order and doesn't give you your parenting time, then she can be held in contempt. But guess what? You could also be held in contempt for not exercising that parenting time. So it works both ways. But that's really the only way you're gonna have rights to your child, visitation rights, is to go to court and get an order from the judge. A father has- I mean, that's crazy. That you can get in trouble for not exercising your right even though your ex-wife is withholding your kids. I, I, I'm gonna be honest, man. When I was having to do the visitation thing between my parents, I absolutely hated it. Because like at my mom's house, I had everything set up. I had my room set up, I had my Xbox, I had all my gear, I had all my posters, I had like, you know, my closet was there. I had everything that I really liked and I really, and it was all in a good spot for me. When I would go visit my dad, my dad lived in a freaking mobile home. And I had to, we had to share a full size bed. Me and him, a grown man, full size bed. And this mobile home was absolutely falling apart. My dad was broke. So that sucked for me. I did not like that. In this scenario, you decide to take a DNA test just out of curiosity or maybe for some medical reasons. Six years ago, a woman did just that and uncovered a devastating family secret. Uh oh. She found out that the man she had known and loved as her father wasn't her biological father. Mm. To make matters worse, her biological father turned out to be a convicted murderer. Oh. But let's hear more from her. My God. Don't take a DNA test if you can't handle finding out that you might be the daughter of a murderer and that your husband's ex-wife could possibly be your close family member or even sister. So I've gotten multiple... What in the wonderful whites of West Virginia are we talking about right here? <laughs> my aunt's my damn cousin. <laughs> what is it? My aunt's my cousin, my cousin's my sister, and my sister's my aunt. Like, wh huh? <laughs> if you guys haven't ever seen that, I think it's the... The Whites of West Virginia, the wonderful, I can't remember the exact name, but it's like an incest family in West Virginia. Boy, howdy, goodness gracious. Oof, dude, that family tree looks like a freaking hula hoop. It is absolutely wild, bro. Request for an update or a part two on the DNA results. I did a DNA test about six years ago. I have some cousins on my dad's side who are a lot older than me. They're his age. So I'm 34. They'd be in their 60s by now. There was no... All right, all right, I gotta know, I gotta know. This woman's 34. I'm 33. I literally turn 34 next month. Do we look like we're the kind of the same age? Let me know in the comments. And I want y'all to be honest. Be honest with me. Do I actually look 34? I feel like this woman looks way older than me. Doesn't she look 40? I'm gonna keep it a buck. She just looks much older than me. Shots fired! Shots fired! Maybe it's the fried hair or the grandma shirt. I don't know what it is, but like, she's 34? I feel like I look way younger than her. Uh, suspicions about paternity whenever I did this. They were just doing DNA tests with all the cousins that they could contact. They wanted to grow their family tree and learn more about their side of the family. So they emailed me and I agreed. We used family tree DNA. I just did the cheek swab and then sent it in. And I remember making a joke to my siblings saying, you know what, I bet you my dad really isn't my dad. Because there's four of us and we all have different dads so it really wouldn't have been that surprising. We also had multiple stepdads, so it was just one of those things that we laughed about. Yo mama was getting busy, boy. You got multiple dads and multiple stepdads? Dude, one of my good buddies, he's got four brothers, and they all got different dads. She's a runner, she's a track star. <laughs> good Lord. To keep from crying, I guess, to make jokes about our messed up life. So the results come back, and I did not match any of the cousins who had also taken that test. Yoink, scoop. I reached out to my cousin, and I told him that I didn't see them on there, or maybe I didn't know what I was doing. And he said, well, there could be a couple of explanations for this. He was pretty good with genealogy and um, DNA and all that stuff. So he said, the most obvious reason would be that you are not your father's daughter. But then there's where the drama starts. He said that when my uncle and my dad were little, my grandparents had a big fight about the way they looked because one looked 
a lot like somebody else, a different dad. Right, row. I don't know if they ever figured that out. Apparently, my uncle is a lot darker than what my grandfather thought he should be. They're all Caucasian, and I think that he thought maybe my uncle was Hispanic or maybe even black. I'm not sure what the issue was there because all of them are passed away now, and I don't have anybody to ask about it. So I guess that then brought up the question as if any of my grandmother's children belong to my grandfather. So what we decided to do was ask my grandma to take a DNA test because I was the only person that really still kept in touch with her. She was in the nursing home, and we would visit her every now and then when we were able because it's kind of far away. I did not tell her that I was suspected that my dad really, really wasn't my dad because I think that really would have broken her heart. I was her baby. But when we went to visit her, I just told her that since she was the oldest living family member that I wanted to get a DNA test on her just so that we could do our family tree. She did it and um, we waited for those results to come back and she and I did not match. I never told her this. I didn't want to break her heart. I didn't, it was just too, there was no reason for it. There was nothing that I was going to gain out of asking her any questions because she probably had no idea. And even if she did, she was just too old and too sick for me to be bothering her with that. So then started my questions um, to my mom. She was not happy about that. Girl lied. She lied so bad and they said that I was being scammed by the DNA test. Which I guess I can understand if you, you know, almost 30 years later, you thought you got away with something and then boom, here comes all these questions. But I wasn't mad. I wasn't mean about it. I was just like, hey, so by the way, I did a DNA test and, you know, Chuck's not my dad. So who is it? She wasn't budging. So I had to go and investigate on my own. I even got to the point where I was like, well, maybe like, am I adopted or something? Am I not your kid? So I, I was, I was just like trying to pick and get answers from her. She just wasn't. No. So we found somebody that, uh, they are called search angels or DNA detectives. I found her on Facebook. Her name is Dawn. Search angels. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Corporal Levi Nix here. DNA detective. It's good to see you guys out. Uh, whose DNA do I need to detect? <laughs> That's such a crazy title to me. And if she gives me permission, she has given me permission in the past to share her information, but I want to reach out to her and make sure that she's still uh, doing this kind of work before I share any information, just in case somebody out there is looking for the same type of help. But I just basically gave her my story, told her what was going on, and uh, she did her thing, and she was able to find a lot of information really fast. I still kept asking my mom just because All right, I, lady, get to the freaking point! I wanted to know from her. I didn't want to have to just find this out through a DNA test. I wanted to know her story. I wanted to know what was going on. I told her, I'm not mad at you. I just want to know. And she got mad, and she was like, why do you even care? Why do you want to know so bad? And I was like, because... She, she, she told me it wasn't my business. I was like, excuse me, ma'am. It is my business to know who my father is and if I have any more siblings or anything like that. She was, she was fiery mad, and she finally just said, I don't know. It was some guy in a white truck. She told me that she worked at a bar, and she was a... She was a lot lizard. <laughs> you get a lot lizard, boy. I remember back in my day, you just got any, you can get go to any shell gas station and get you get a lot leisure, boy. I love you for twenty dollars. It's a bartender slash waitress, and um, my dad that I thought was my dad the whole time was a bouncer, and they had broken up, and I guess to get revenge on him for whatever she was mad at him about, his friend Randy. she messed around with some other people. So she found out she was pregnant, and it was just easier for her to pin me on Chuck, who I thought was my dad. Chuck. Not the greatest choice, but I guess when you find out about my real father, I guess he was the better of the two. So if you want to know what happened next, just go ahead and follow me, and I'll keep making oh, updates. Oh, damn it, honey. I just want to know that your dad's a freaking murderer. Don't begin. Like, this is... Ugh, people tell stories. Begin with the freaking end in mind, dude. That's crazy to me. Has any of that happened to you guys? Where you, you, you thought somebody was your dad and then they wasn't your dad? I know my dad's my dad. At least I think so. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should go get a DNA test. <laughs> I don't know. I look just like my dad, though. Like, if you looked at a picture of my dad and me, I look just like, but hey, I got, I'm, dude, who knows these days? Women out here doing this and finessing 30 years later, that's absolutely crazy to me. It's wild, the lore of these circular family trees. Family trees looking like a hula hoop, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to uh, don't forget to cop the new ebook, The Four Steps to Style. So go ahead and cop that. Uh, the link should be in description. I've got everything from like 
haircut guides, cologne guides, like a, um, what you should do to your wardrobe, man. There's a lot. I, I put a lot of really good info in there for you guys. Um, so go cop that. But yeah, man, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.